Hi guys, my name is Rizvan Ula from RankTactics.com and today I'm going to show you how to use SEO Presser to find and optimize your content with LSI keywords to help rank your content higher within search engines. In this tutorial, you'll learn the following. What is SEO Presser? Features and benefits? Installing SEO Presser plugin, the basic configuration and setup, migrating with Bing for advanced search results, how to use SEO Presser plugin for LSI keywords, how to calculate keyword density, and finally SEO Presser in action, where I'll be creating a sample post. Okay, so let's get started. What is SEO Presser plugin? SEO Presser plugin is an LSI keyword tool which provides recommendations on how to improve your content for SEO, which is search engine optimization. It works in real time mode, providing recommendations as you create your post within WordPress. Even though you might be an expert in optimizing your content, the SEO Presser plugin will completely streamline the entire optimization process, providing you with the breakdown of your keyword density percentage, keyword decoration suggestions, and an alert if you've over optimized. Before publishing your content, SEO Presser will calculate an on page SEO score out of 100, giving you an idea of how well you've optimized your content for Google. Here are two more cool features. SEO Presser possesses the secret algorithm that correlates with Google, and it also provides a one glance, fast, and easy SEO management system. Okay, so we've already looked at what is SEO Presser. Let's take a quick look at how to install the SEO Presser plugin on your WordPress backend. Once you purchase the SEO Presser plugin, you'll receive a download link which will be sent to the email address that you registered when you first purchase SEO Presser. Then you can proceed to step number one. In step number one, you're going to be uploading SEO Presser to your WordPress backend. Simply log into your WordPress dashboard, then go to plugins and add new then proceed to step number two before continuing here's a quick note when you download SEO presser plugin comes in a zip file there is no need to unzip this file all WordPress plugins are in the format of a zip file just upload the whole zip file following the instructions provided now if you're using a Mac Sometimes, depending on your Mac settings, Mac can unzip the files automatically. What you need to do is simply zip up the file and then upload it into your WordPress backend. The next step is to choose the file by browsing to the location where you downloaded the SEO Presser zip file. Finally, select that zip file and click install now. Then proceed to step number three. In step number three, it's very simple. All you're going to be doing is activating the plugin. Once you've activated the plugin, SEO Presser has been installed to your WordPress website. Okay, so let's look at the SEO Presser features and benefits, starting with LSI recommendations. Okay, so let's look at LSI recommendations. In default mode, you have the option to add three targeted keywords to this plugin. It will automatically provide related keywords by using information within your content and built-in algorithms. With each targeted keyword, SEO Presser will generate a set of LSI keywords which you can embed into your content for better on-page SEO. These LSI keywords are pulled directly from Google and Bing using the Bing API key. These keyword phrases also have search volume and rankings potential. Here are some other attributes of the LSI recommendations feature. LSI keywords are used to assist in retrieving and delivering accurate information from a very large database such as Google. They help in developing niche sites by providing more keywords you can use to broaden your reach within search engines. Using various types of keywords with similar meanings, for example like targeting the LSI, makes it easier for search engines to determine the niche theme of your site and its content. The biggest benefit is the increase in traffic you can experience from employing this technique.
Next, let's look at the on-page SEO and multiple keyword analysis. Use the SEO plugin to analyze your content as you create it within WordPress. It will analyze keywords in your title, your H1 to H3 tags. It will check for optimal keyword density, content length, images, links, placement of keywords, and font decorations. You have two options when decorating your keywords. First, manually decorate the text by following the suggestions or set up the plugin to automatically and intelligently decorate your keyword fonts and add alt text to your images. Okay, next, let's take a look at the over optimization check feature in SEO Presser. SEO Presser has been configured to tell you when you've over optimized your content by providing a score out of 100. If you've over optimized, then follow the simple suggestions offered by the plugin to reduce score and achieve a peak optimal score. The score is essentially calculated in two ways. First, how well you've optimized your content through text decorations and having keywords in the right place. It takes into account your title, URL, description, meta tags, your H1 to H3 tags, your underlined text, bolded text, etc. Next, SEO Presser will calculate keyword density percentage by counting how many times you've scattered keywords throughout your content. Over optimization feature is perfect because pages with the higher score have been proven to rank better on search engines, resulting in increased traffic and more conversions. If you're not effectively optimized, your score turns red instead of green, which would indicate an unsafe optimization. Your score should fall between 85 to 100%. Okay, so let's look at the rich snippet feature of SEO Processor. When setting up SEO Processor after installation, you have the option to configure the rich snippet feature. This allows you to customize what people see in the search results when they type in a keyword. You can choose from product review, event, people, and recipe. You can customize your title, add a summary and a star rating which will be displayed within the search results in Google and other search engines. If your blog provides solutions to problems, then this feature is not applicable. However, it can still be utilized if you want to add a rating to your content when displayed in the search engine results page. Another cool feature is the social SEO open graph tags feature. The latest version of SEO Presser has added some cool new features to the plugin. During setup, you'll see a social SEO tab which will allow you to enable the feature. Every time you create a new post within WordPress, scroll towards the bottom to change the default settings. Why is this feature so important? You'll be able to customize what people see on Twitter and Facebook when your content is shared. Usually, social networks will use the default title and description, which was added while you created the post or your content. These have been optimized for search engines, but they haven't been optimized for social networks. SEO Presser realizes that there are certain character limitations placed within Twitter and Facebook, so I've added this feature so you can customize the default title, description, as well as featured image. Social SEO is perfect for those that rely heavily on social networks to drive traffic to their website. The benefits are instantaneous and you can customize it for each social network so that your tweet or post makes complete sense. Okay, so let's take a look at the automatic smart linking feature within SEO Presser. If you routinely add content to your blog, then activate the internal smart linking feature in SEO Presser. Once you've configured your keywords, each time you use them within your content, SEO Presser will automatically create a link to the URL specified. You can specify how many times to create an internal link so you can limit the amount of internal links on each page. For example, if I've set up a link using the keyword link building and have specified SEO Presser to create an internal link to, then it only creates 
two links on that specific page only when I use that phrase link building within my content. It's an awesome feature and I've loved using it because I don't need to go back skimming through my previous posts building internal links each time I've published new content. This feature is very simple to set up. You only need to specify a keyword and URL once in the configuration and SEO Presser will convert your keywords into internal links. You save enormous time and effort since you don't have to constantly go back creating individual links each time you write a new post. Bounce rates are reduced as site navigation and linking infrastructure are greatly enhanced. Okay, so let's take a look at how to configure and set up SEO Presser after installation. First, once you've logged into your WordPress backend, you can find the SEO Presser settings menu on the left. Click the arrow to view settings under the SEO Presser menu. Okay, so let's start with general settings and the automatic SEO tab. First, posts title which will allow you to enable if you want SEO Presser to automatically add your keyword within post titles. I have disabled this feature because I want to control what keywords are added within my content title. If you want SEO Presser to add keywords for you, then enable this feature. Next, enabling post slugs allows SEO Presser to clean up your posts URL. However, you will want to be careful because enabling this feature will remove any words you have specified in the box below. If your keyword for example contains a uh, or about, then SEO Press will remove it from the post URL. This will change your keyword around and my recommendation is to leave this feature off unless you always use keywords which don't contain any short words like a, so, etc. The keyword section just streamlines the keyword decoration process. Here you can see options for automatically allowing SEO Presser to decorate your keywords in bold, italic, and underline. Whatever keywords you have added within these three boxes will automatically be decorated when you add them within your content. This will also improve your overall optimization score. The images section within settings will allow you to configure the way your images are handled in case they do not appear within your content correctly due to an upload error or bad server connection. The first setting will enable SEO Presser to add the alt attribute to your images that do not already have one. Below you can configure what text you would like SEO Presser to display in case your image does not show. I've specified keyword so the reader will see my related keyword if my image does not appear. If you want to display something different then change the settings using one of the allowed tags below. For example, percentage keyword percentage displays SEO Presser's keyword. Percentage post underscore title percentage will display post title. Percentage random underscore post underscore tag percentage displays a random tag from post and finally percentage random underscore post underscore category percentage displays a random category from post. Next, the title attribute just adds more additional information to the image. This is great for SEO and ranking your images because when search engines index your pages, they'll be able to associate your images with certain keywords. The settings below you can change and are the same as we discussed above. Let's look at the links setting. You have two options, one for external links and other for images. You're essentially configuring if you want your external and image links to be follow, which means allow them to get indexed by search engines, or no follow, you don't want them to get indexed. Okay, so the social SEO will allow you to enable the feature I've discussed before. These settings when enabled will open additional boxes that will be visible as you create your posts. 
Rich Snippet allows you to configure the way your content shows up in search results. You can also add a star rating to your content if you're reviewing a product, etc. I've opened one of my posts and scroll to the bottom. With Rich Snippet, you have a few options like review, event, people, product, and recipe. You can simply add a different title to each. You can add a summary and description. And as mentioned, if I'm reviewing a product, I can even add a star rating. Now, enabling Facebook and Twitter will allow me to configure what people see when content is shared. For example, here are the settings within my post towards the bottom. Here are the Facebook settings and SEO Presser right now is using the default title to show people on Facebook. I can set a new title different from my post title. I can also add a new description and even configure what image will be shown. I can do the same within Twitter, setting a title, description. Let's take a quick look at Dublin Core. Now Dublin Core is an initiative that was created as a digital library card catalog for the web. Dublin Core is made up of metadata elements, data that describes data, that offer expanded cataloging information and improved document indexing for search engine programs. Enabling this will let you add some more information. I don't really mess around with Dublin Core, but if you would like to add more information to each post, then enable the setting. You can...